Hello! Yeah, as you know, I've been making a video on red bricks constructions and so on. So, um, the mud itself is uh, and the clay which is containing the mud could be in a deposit, so, could be a good resource for creating bricks and so on. So, well, just forget about what I said because you know actually it's not the topic of today's talk um, today's topic is um, that someone as I was saying as I was saying all those constructions were dual or triple purpose and in, uh, including the storing capacity and uh, harvesting the electricity atmos atmospheric electricity which is it's not pretty much simple, it's just the technology that was used before. Well, it's simple to prove it, and I've been showing it in my videos. And, and um, even I've, 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 uh, I've been sent a video from one guy who actually tried that by himself. And uh, he sent a balloon with the wires and stuff like this, and so he measured the electricity that was harvested with this method. So, whatever. Uh, so this is the science and technology um, the article was published by Talia Aglior at August 11 2020 uh, it's called storing energy in red bricks imagine plugging into your brick house red bricks some of the world's cheapest and most familiar building materials can be converted into energy storage units that can be charged to hold electricity, like a battery, according to new research from Washington University in St. Louis. Washington University in St. Louis. Brick has been used in walls and buildings for thousands of years, but rarely has been found fit for any other use. Well, rarely. <laughs> that's not. That's, that's not. Um, that's not always, or not not found at all. But rarely, so they don't, you know, leave us a chance for for this to happen in in a past, right? Now, chemists in arts and science have developed a method to make or modify smart bricks that can store energy until required for powering devices. A proof of concept published August 11 in Nature Communication and pictured below shows a brick directly powering a green LED light let's go there I don't know yeah as you can see there's a there's a whole whole stuff here okay we can look at it a little bit later let's read it so in nature communications and picture below shows a, a brick directly powering a green LED light. Uh, quote, our method works with regular brick or recycled brick, and we can make our own bricks as well, said Julio Darcy, assistant professor of chemistry. As a matter of fact, the work that we have published in Nature Communication stems from bricks that we bought at Home Depot right here in Brentwood, Missouri, each brick was 65 cents. Walls and buildings made of bricks already occupy a large amount of space, which could be better utilized if given an additional purpose for electrical storage. While some architects and designers have recognized the humble brick's ability to absorb and store the sun's heat, this is the first time anyone has tried using bricks as anything more than thermal mass for heating and cooling. Darcy and colleagues, including Washington University graduate student Hong Ming Wong, first author of the new study, showed how to convert red bricks into a type of energy storage device called a supercapacitor. In this work, we have developed a coating of the conducting polymer PEDO, which is com comprised of nanofibers that penetrate the inner porous network of a brick. A polymer coating 
remains trapped in a brick and serves as an iron sponge that stores and conducts electricity, Darcy said. The red pigment in bricks, iron oxide or rust, is essential for triggering the polymerization reaction. The author's calculation suggests that walls made of these energy storing bricks could store a substantial amount of energy. PDOT coated bricks are ideal building blocks that can provide power to emergency lighting, Darcy said. We envision that this could be a reality when you connect our bricks with solar cells. This could take 50 bricks in close proximity to the load. These 50 bricks would enable power and emergency lighting for 5 hours. Advantageously, a brick wall serving as a supercapacitor can be recharged hundreds of thousands times within an hour. If you connect a couple of bricks, microelectronic sensors would be easily powered. So this is how it looks. Let's go to the to the research itself and uh, check out some some photos. Uh, so this is how it works. The position of nanofibular brillar PEDOT coating on brick from storing bricks from century PDOT supercapacitors. So this is how it works. Okay, and uh, uh, so this is how it's it looks in a in a zooming super super zooming of those bricks. And, uh, so what I'm trying to say is uh, what they proving right now is that that we can use bricks for storing energy. And uh, do we can we actually know right now that these methods were not used before, and that wasn't the reason why the people were building only red, majorly from the red bricks. Even uh, the the article starts that the people were building for thousands of years, but rarely have been found fit for any other use. So. Uh, who have been searching it? Who have been analyzing all those bricks? Do they have this, you know, nanotechnological uh, stuff, or is it just a natural purpose, natural, natural ability to be a capacity storage for energy? Um, I'd like to. Maybe you can lead me to more information on that. But actually, that that is what I was talking about. We have. Uh, the harvesting device which is like a, a dome and a maybe type of antenna that could be used as a as a cross or whatever as a spire and uh, so it captures the the atmospheric electricity then it goes down and uh, to the system of energy storage which is like you know red brick building itself and then it spreads uh, for, for the whole facility and uh, whatever you have the connection to the electric devices you have the illumination and that could be easily explained uh, from mine you know from my perspective at least what do you think about it guys and uh, I want your opinion uh, if you have seen any videos that discuss in the same topics and because um, we've made a bunch of videos on red bricks and you know could be specifying this special uh, special ability of the bricks. I was talking about the mud as the best absorber of you know radionuclides and uh, biological waste and uh, weapons and uh, you know corpses on anything. So that's a great 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 opportunity to use mud floods also as a, as a way to clear the area from the, the catastrophic events, right? Uh, and so on. So the red brick building is definitely shows us the second dual purpose. As I was saying, the older buildings were used as a dual or triple purpose buildings. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, subscribe.
for more information uh, I'll probably make a, a live chat today on uh, on the elections and what's going on there actually uh, because you know my my predictions and the script that I was you know trying to tell you about still is plain nothing actually happened uh, and we're just stocking up the popcorn and waiting until the stuff will actually be developing and emerging in a way that I was telling you guys and the script is a script so I'm pretty sure that nothing yet was lost although the amount of uh, stuff that was going on actually overwhelmed my expectations actually well anyways thank you for watching and uh, see you later bye